Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I'm here with another record vinyl pickup from Whatnot. What a yet! Alright guys, so again, cruising around on Whatnot, a little bored, came across another record album sale, and I picked up some albums. I honestly don't remember what buyer I got the, or seller, I'm sorry, that I got these from. Okay, so let's start showing them off. So the first one I got is Johnny Cash. Now I have not cleaned these or um, put them in sleeves yet, but I will. So this one is coming apart, so I know I got a pretty good deal on it. We did not get lyrics, but... Looks like it has a list of some of Johnny Cash's other albums and some other people that we could get albums from. The back is pretty cool. It has, now there was a song, Johnny Cash. Now the thing is, this is like a like newspaper almost. So, and it even looks like it's glued on there and you can see it yellowing. So I'm sure back in the day they thought that was wonderful. <laughs> but as we see, it didn't hold up really well. All right, so on to the next one. We've got, boom, Rip Roaring Country. And this is uh, different people. Alabama, Willie Nelson, Hank Williams Jr., Conway Twitty, Eddie Rabbit, Mo Brandy, the Bellamy Brothers, Bobby Bear, Johnny Cash is even on here, George Strait, Wayne Jennings, George Jones. So that's pretty awesome. Hear my alarm system outside. I don't know, the dog. <laughs> now the other dog. All right, let's move on now. So I also got Starlight Original Stars. This one is also a mixed one. This one has... Uh, let's see, Elton John, Abba, Foreigner, Cheap Trick, Peter Frampton, Dr. Hook, Peaches and Herb, Earth, Wind and Fire. So this has a mix of people. Oh, it has Susie uh, Quartaro, Quartaro. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. She is actually right there. And I'm pretty sure that's... Uh, Another Tuscadero from Happy Days. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. Another Tuscadero. Pinky Tuscadero. Pinky Tuscadero. Maybe it's Pinky Tuscadero. I don't know. But I think she's the chick from Happy Days. I'm going to have to look that up. I'll let you know right here. All right. On to the next one. We have Boom, Alabama. All right, so this Alabama one, boom, we did score lyrics. Well, picture on that side. Let's turn it around. Lyrics on this side. I'm trying to be careful because you can see it's falling out the bottom. It is coming apart. That's pretty cool to add to the collection. Again, I didn't pay very much for any of these. I'm figuring maybe... A dollar or two for some of them. That's pretty cool. Like this one I know was a dollar. I got John Anderson. It's an older one. No lyrics. The back. So this is a country one also. So some of these are country, as you can tell. I don't discriminate. Uh, Larry Gatlin and the Gatlin Brothers. And this one is a greatest hits. So it has some different songs on it. And it says Larry Gatlin, four dollars. <laughs> this is on here. All right, so it's pretty cool. All right, on to the next one. This one this was also a mixed one. This one is called Music Box. Um, Herb Albert. Let's see. I'm not even sure why I picked this one because I'm not really sure who any of these people are. Honestly, I don't even think I bought this one. This is where when they don't list a title and you buy albums and then you're kind of like, hmm, because I'm pretty sure I did not buy this one. I know nothing about it, so I don't know why I would buy it even for a dollar. All right, so this one I, I did. This is Don't Shoot Me, Elton John, 
This is a gatefold album. So that's pretty awesome. So it has a uh, high flying bird lyrics right there. Don't shoot me. I'm only the piano player. That's pretty cool. Starring Elton John. So did we get lyrics? It is only one side and we did not. It's just clear paper. But pretty awesome to add that one to my collection. Next we have uh, John Denver. So this is pretty cool. It's also a gatefold. And look at there. You open it up and there's some lyrics. Because this is one of the ones, I know I mentioned this prior, where it comes from the inside. See? It's not over here. It actually comes from this side. So that's pretty cool. The Mountain High, Paradise. This has got a lot of different cool songs on it. I love that picture. All right. On to the next one. Oh, Linda Ronstadt. Different drum. This is pretty cool. This is an older Linda Ronstadt. As you can see. Uh, just a white cover. No lyrics. But this is pretty cool down here. It was $6 at one time. So that's pretty awesome. Again, I think I paid a dollar or two for it. Uh, next uh, one we're going to add to the collection is Rod Stewart. Tonight I'm yours. It's pretty cool back here. So, I grew up in a house that loved Rod Stewart. So this is one side for the tour. Look at that, 1982. And this side, oh, is that some lyrics? We scored lyrics. Awesome. Also has a sticker on it, uh, $4.99. All right, we are stuck on something. All right, on to the next one. I believe this one was one of the ones I got for like a buck. It was the four tops. That's why I went ahead and grabbed it. This would be one of those albums, like if I didn't get it for like a dollar or two, I probably would pass, you know. Uh, but it was pretty cool. It does not. It just has a replacement sleeve inside, the clear plastic ones. So that's pretty awesome to add the four tops. And then we have Mr. Kenny Rogers. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at here on the back. You see Kenny Rogers and Lionel Richie. Does it say any? Oh, yeah. It says, because I just noticed it says right here, produced by Lionel Richie. I was like, his name's got to be on here somewhere, right? <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. So Kenny Rogers. All right. Then we, you know, it's Bill Cosby. I know there's a lot of controversy about Bill Cosby, but this is old, funny Bill Cosby. I, I don't know. I don't know. I got it for a buck. I don't know. All right, next one is Air Supply, Now and Forever. It's pretty awesome to add an Air Supply. I remember as a kid, not so much a kid, like junior high, um, I had an Air Supply Greatest Hits cassette. Don't know how new or old it was. Don't remember any of that. But it had like all these really cool sappy songs on it though. Um, lyrics. We scored lyrics in Banana Yellow, no less. So that's pretty awesome. Love getting to add records like this to my collection. Especially when they've got the lyrics and they've got a great insert for the album. Even if it doesn't have lyrics, if it's got a cool picture. Uh, even if it's one album and it's a gatefold, I love albums. Love, I just, I love them all. All right, we got Neil Diamond here. This one is Jonathan Livingston Siegel. Also is a gatefold. Oh, there's a big old picture of Neil right there. Okay, and this one, oh, I just, I, okay, well. He didn't mention this during the live, but first of all, no lyrics, okay? But when you open this, you can first of all, oh, I hate this setup. You can see this, but if you look right here, look at that. What is that? It's a book. 
shoved right inside there. Just a solid white book. And on the front it says, I don't know if you can, see, you can barely see it. It says Neil Diamond, Jonathan Livingston Single. And boom, it has some pictures. And it has the lyrics. This is a book of lyrics. This is like a treasure. <laughs> like I just scored a treasure. This stuff is hardly ever still in here. It has uh, like all the musicians that played. This is like, like a program. Uh, the seller saying anything about that. Not even sure if they're aware of that. But that's pretty awesome. So adding that one to my collection. And we have one more. And this one was also a mixed one. And it's called Dance the Night Away. We've got Irene Cara, Cool in the Gang, uh, Shalimar, Shalimar, wow, uh, Daz Band, Rick James, Diana Ross, wow, Sister Sledge, Pointer Sisters, so it's just like a little dance album, uh, no lyrics, just, I didn't think there would be, not an album like this usually, just one of those little mixed ones I want to add to my collection. Again, you know, it's always awesome to have mixed ones because then it gives you a variety. It's what we did before, you know, you could set your own playlist. So, so really awesome. I was really happy to pick up all of those albums. Which ones were your favorites? Were there any you liked? Were there any you seen in concert? Are there any you're hunting for? Let me know. Leave it in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stick around. Check out my Patreons at the end. I appreciate all of your support, all of their support. They get something every single month if you're interested. Links down below. And until next time, guys, bye.